Hi, Jamie. Hello. Hi. Um, what is the magic of the Key Club studio? Well, originally it was, um, I was, uh, there's a mixing desk called a Flickinger and I'd used, I'd used one. There was only ever like 25 ever made in the 60s and 70s, but everyone, everyone that was making incredible sound and music had one. Like I could Tina Turner and Johnny Cash, Rolling Stones and Sly and the Family Stone. You know, they all, they all had a Flickinger. So I was searching around to try and find one and there was one in the Midwest in Benton Harbor. And how so I went there like 2004. Yeah. They had they had Sly Stone's original Sly, Sly Stone's desk, so we went there and just turned out to be the greatest studio ever. And the people that run it and become some of my best friends, and it's a real home from home. And there's no distractions, you know, you just lock lock yourself away and play yeah. music all day. Okay. Um, how did you find out there was one desk over there? Um, I. Well, I just I, it took it took a long time. I, I used I'd used one in this place called Black Box in France, and then it took a long time to find out if there was another one. And I guess I just found some little bits and pieces of information on on the internet, and then uh, bang, found found Key Club. Yeah. And how? And if you have to describe the sound, what 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 sort of sound mix mixing sound does it? Um, it's. I don't know how you describe it. It's kind of, it's got that. If you listen to those old Sly and Family Stone records, it's got that sort of sound. Yeah. It's like um, sort of warm, thick, warm and crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. But do they still make them? No. no. It's 25 made. Yeah, no, no. I mean, they, they were made in the in the 70s, 60s yeah. and 70s. But not. And at the time, it was like. It was like NASA technology, you know. The yeah. Daniel Flickinger was making mixing desks like beyond any, anybody's technical know-how. They were the absolute top of the top. And then um, he was a troubled man, and he his business collapsed, and that was that. No, he's dead, or no, he's not dead. But actually, I got a letter from his daughter, and uh, my my friends from Key Club went out to meet meet him. Yeah. He's a, Fantastic man, very strange. He's lived a very strange life, I think. He's been really been through it. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did she write? His daughter. Oh, I can't remember. Just said like, I, you know, I've, I've heard, she'd just seen a few articles where I'd been talking about Daniel Flickinger, her dad.